去。哇 ，spoiler。<laughs> Sorry, you like this. Okay, okay. No, you you never realize if okay, never mind. Okay, so uh, today I'm gonna share about a library, uh, that we will like. So yeah, okay. First, uh, this is my username in Twitter and my username in GitHub. I didn't manage to get that one in Twitter because I made a mistake. But it's okay. Okay, uh, let's head down to Copenland. Okay, so you can see here I have an empty code pen. There is only one thing that I set up over here, which is that I loaded this library called CJSS. So usually, uh, when you go to let's say uh, JS Talk, they will usually like collapse the two side on the left. But today, we're gonna collapse the other two. Yay! Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to use CSS only to build a website. So um, you can see over here our HTML is empty. When things are empty, we can only target probably two things, HTML body. So I'm going to do body. OK, then the magic is this. I realized that CodePen doesn't refresh for this library. Ha! Okay, pure CSS. <laughs> no HTML, no JS, only CSS. Okay, so I mean, all of us like components, right? Uh, web components, I'm afraid, because there's no JavaScript library. So we have to use web components. So let's do it. Okay, so you can see I am a oh no, it's can I pull in? Ha. Okay, but what's the use of a component when you don't try and pass it data? So guess what? We can pass it data. Let's do it. Component. And then I'm gonna say uh, this is okay. This is. I am a component, so I have successfully passed it the data through CSS. Okay, so uh, more, I think. So uh, I mean, what what's the use without interactive, right? So I'm gonna add uh, this div, and then I'm gonna call it. You can click. Okay, so now that we have you can click, you can use it, you can click. Wait, I can't write, yes, yes, uh, 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 uh. correct, okay. So, uh, <laughs> okay, so first thing, uh, I'm going to pass you some data. <laughs> Right, proper JSON. I will have. Okay, so you can't say anything yet because it's just data. So, more than data, we can also. Okay, so usually what we do in, let's say, uh, View or React, we'll try to loop them through and print them out. So, we can do it over here also. Okay. 
Okay, my data called name. <laughs> I can return it directly. So. Okay, oh no, bad naming. Button, button, button. <laughs> the idea. more stuff also like this oh actually I don't need oh okay I think I write like this oh yeah okay it's a bit funny but we need to join them together yeah so actually what I'm doing is that it's a string it's trying to return a string at the end of the day What's wrong with this? Okay. Yen can cook. Where? Yeah. Here. This one. Yes. Oh. Wow. Oh. Thank goodness. Pretty. Ah. <laughs> Do not use pretty in your life. Okay. So uh, now that we have buttons, uh, we need to make them interactive. So you see they have nothing now. So what I'm trying to do is that um, Okay, so we're trying to target the button for CSS. Uh, the most ugly way will be, she's not most ugly. La. You can do a direct child. Okay, so this means I'm looking at all the buttons. Let's pass in some script. And then this, let's write function <coughs> first. Okay, because I don't have any library, I'll have to call the web API directly. Okay, so uh, okay. Probably once we can't see anything, but we can look at console first. One, two, three over here. Okay. Class active, yes. <coughs> so, then we also need to add a style to it. So let's say you can click. Yeah. Okay. So 
That's it. <laughs> uh, full page interactive website written with CSS. <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to uh, share some of the secrets of how the library is working. Uh, first thing, it's document.stylesheets. So for every, it's part of the web API, so you don't need any library for it. You can actually call, okay, let's pull out the JavaScript portion now. You can call <coughs> document.stylesheets to look at all the style sheets that you have in your website. You can do it for your own websites also. So what you get is, okay, so this code pen has only one CSS file, so we only show you one. Okay, just uh, let me show you what's inside. You pretty much can get everything inside your style sheet in a very logical, clean fashion. So it's under CSS rules. Ah, why can't it print? Okay, let me steal from here. Okay, so over here you can see the CSS that I written just now. Uh, body component, you can click, you can click. All these are actually, you can get it through JavaScript. And then it's very clear for me that even that I can see, I can see like what are the different uh, styles that are applied to it. Over here there's only dash dash body, but let's say if you add something like uh, border radius, So you can get all of them right inside JavaScript. And this is what the library is trying to do. So when you write the CSS, is the behind the engine is actually a JavaScript uh, engine, JavaScript-based engine. So what it does is that it tries to look through all the style sheets that you have imported in your page. You'll look through all the different rules. And then once it sees that it's a dash dash something, it will try to evaluate what's inside. So um, it also depends on what you write over here. I have HTML, I have JSON, I have a JavaScript expression. So depending on what you wrote over here, it will try and run another function, which will try and pass what you pass in. Most of the time, it's a string. It will output um, another string most of the time, and then it will insert it into your DOM. So if you're interested to look at what uh, more on this, you can check it out. Uh, it's called CJSS. And so I think to round it up, um, CSS in JS, which is the opposite of this, uh, has given some stuff that we start thinking about how we work on CSS. We start thinking about how we want to scope things down because uh, at the end of the day, CSS is a it's global scope. You know? Something that you declare, it's always going to be global. There's no scoping happening. So uh, what CSS in JS library is trying to do is to bring that scoping in by adding um, a hash, hash at the back of your class name. So if we are able to do it in CSS uh, natively without a library, we might have, we might, I guess like it's a good point that we got from CS, CSS in JS that we can actually incorporate into uh, CSS itself. So um, I guess some of the, the other two will be simplified bundling and explicit dependency. These are things that are very JavaScript based and then we try to bring them into CSS. So, and they also brought us a lot of Twitter wars, nonstop. 
OK, so what does CJSS tell us? What does it tell us about how we work with JavaScript from a CSS point of view? You can see that um, a lot of my code just now are very declarative. There's no, um, there's no like, if this, then do this, then do this. They're all very straightforward. If you are this component, do this. If you are this component, do this. So I think even if we try to write very decorative JavaScript today, we can push them more and see how, whether we can write in a more CSS way, like whether JavaScript can move in that direction also. And then, um, uh, although just now I targeted body and write the style in CSS, uh, this library actually sort of encourages you to write more in your HTML, in your DOM, and then you try and target them and change them. So when we are working with JavaScript, we, JavaScript frameworks, we have moved so much to writing everything in JavaScript and nothing in the DOM. So is it time for us to start looking again that we maybe it's a good idea to start writing our DOM back again? So yeah, uh, that's it. Thank you so much. More CSS in the JS. What more CSS love in the JS world? Yeah, man. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Yishu. Thank you. Bye.